The Youth Bridge Foundation, in collaboration with the U.S. Embassy, National Union of Ghana Students, and University Students Association of Ghana, held a public lecture dubbed My Neighbor, My Friend, My Neighbor, My Enemy, Youth, Peace, and Security, on Wednesday, 9th November 2022, at the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center in Accra. The lecture, hosted by Dr. Hakim Williams, a U.S. Full Rights Scholar awardee, sought to address the conflict situation in the country with a main focus on campus conflict in tertiary institutions. Speaking at the lecture, Dr. Hakim explained that conflict resolution is not the responsibility of the leaders in institutions only, but it is the role of every individual to join this fight to mitigate the high prevalence of conflict situations in the various institutions. A task of maintaining peace in any society doesn't belong to the, the, the leaders, in quotes. In fact, and I told everyone in the room there, Every Ghanaian must play a constructive role in building the kind of Ghana that you all envision. So it's not just about, because I think when we say, what should the leaders do? What can the leaders do? What that does is that it creates a separation between they must fix it and I'm just here, I'm just watching, I'm a spectator. None of us are spectators because ultimately, when conflict breaks out more, we all will be hurt by it. And of course, the leaders, they have their role. They should be training conflict resolution, nonviolent communication. But the, the more important question is, I too am also a leader. I may not be a traditional leader, but what role can I play in helping to build peace? And I think many people don't ask that question because many people are afraid of leadership. Many people are afraid of dreaming big. Of, because when you're so small, you have big dreams. That dream is too big, like, you know, shut up. And we know in this society, it's also very gendered. So I know that women also are put down in this society. We, we need a space where the disabled or the minorities um, could just find room to speak up some more. Because if we're not hearing all the voices, it, it'll continue to lead to more conflict. Also speaking at the event, Alaji Al Meyao Abbas Kwarase, the chief superintendent of police, detailed some of the strategies the Ghana police is putting to address the issue of campus conflict happening in the various tertiary institutions. One of the most important activities we undertake to ensure peace in the various campuses is education. We engage the students' leadership to eschew violence and especially the students' leadership to talk to their fellows, to ensure that any time there is any conflict, they are able to sit on a round table, dialogue, and come to amicable solution. Basically, we do realize that in most instances, it's a hall against a hall, or student body against the authorities and administration. And there are so many platforms on which these issues could be resolved amicably, instead of uh, resorting to violent destruction of school property, buses, and even at times injuring each other. So education is one of the main tools that we use, engaging students' leadership to educate them and ensure that they understand the modes of settling some of the conflicts that might arise in the campuses. It is a thing of the past. Now the police is a friend. The police is a friend in the sense that we cannot work effectively without information. All that we do in ensuring that there's peace in the community has to do with the vital or useful information that you give us so that we encourage all members of the society, whatever they see that has to do with crime or even based on suspicion, they should be, readily, they should be ready to provide us such information so that we can work around the clock to prevent rather than waiting for the offense to be committed before we go to react. And let me assure you that the police administration have put on stringent measures to ensure that no policeman divulge any informant who provides vital information that can lead to the arrest of suspects or nipping crime in the bud. So there are so many measures put in place by the police administration to ensure that our informants are protected such that we can encourage them to come forward and give us information. And even there are instances you are able to give us valuable information that leads to the arrest of armed robbers or even people who are likely to involve in violent crimes are rewarded in several ways. So be assured that information that members of the general public provide to the public is well protected and the informants themselves are well protected. We do not blow off their cover. Because if we do so, we'll leave them in danger. 
Finally, Dr. Anderson, the president of USAC, disclosed some measures the administration is putting in place to resolve campus conflicts in the various tertiary institutions. For my part as USAC president and for our administration as USAC, we are bent on finding the right means of channeling the energies of our young people. Um, one way we are doing that is currently we are engaging several bodies. Um, key amongst them is the Ghana Digital Center, trying to get as much skill training opportunities for our students, entrepreneurial training opportunities for them. And the ultimate goal is that at the end of this, when they have something to do with their extra time, when they have to make some money from somewhere to help nation building, I doubt you'd leave your work to come and join some of these. So we want to find a way to channel their energy. On the other hand, we've also started some seminar. We had um, a legal symposium on the theme vandalism and the position of the law, where we had some legal brains come in and teach them what the law says about this and the implications on their lives. So that at least when they put these two side by side, they will know how to make a good decision for themselves. The lecture was chaired by Mr. George Amu, other key personalities present were members of NUGS and USAG, representatives from the U.S. Embassy and students from the University of Ghana and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, as well as the media.